Thinking about a docking station? The big question is, Thunderbolt 4 or Thunderbolt 5? On paper, it's just a number, but in practice, it can totally change your setup. Thunderbolt 4 is fast and reliable, no doubt, but Thunderbolt 5 steps it up with more bandwidth, smarter power delivery, and future-proof performance. If you're juggling multiple 4K monitors or need super speedy file transfers, this choice matters. For today's tests, we'll be using the Tobin 1 UDS033 Thunderbolt 4 docking station and the Anchor Prime TB5 Thunderbolt 5 docking station. These will help us see how each generation holds up under real-world workloads. Let's break down what each one offers and see if upgrading now is worth it. Let's start with a quick overview of what each standard brings to the table. Thunderbolt 4 provides up to 40 gigabits per second bandwidth, supports dual 4K displays or a single 8K, and usually delivers around 90 watts of power. It's stable, reliable, and has been the go-to for professionals needing fast data and video connections. Thunderbolt 5, on the other hand, doubles the base bandwidth to 80 gigabits per second and, with its bandwidth boost feature, can jump to 120 gigabits per second for video-intensive tasks. It supports dual 8K displays or up to three 4K monitors, and it pushes power delivery up to 140 watts. On paper, Thunderbolt 5 is a serious leap forward. But numbers only tell part of the story. Let's see how these differences play out in real-world testing. First up, file transfers. We moved 7.25 gigabytes of files from an external SSD to the laptop. With the Tobin 1 Thunderbolt 4 dock, the transfer wrapped up in around 25 seconds. That's respectable and perfectly fine for most workflows, especially photographers and casual video editors. With the Anchor Prime TB5 Thunderbolt 5 dock, the same transfer took just under 15 seconds, nearly twice as fast, which makes a massive difference for professionals working with large media files or game developers moving massive builds. We also tested two simultaneous transfers from different SSD. The Thunderbolt 4 dock held steady, but showed slight throttling when both drives maxed out. The Thunderbolt 5 dock powered through without breaking a sweat. No bottleneck, no slowdown. Next, let's talk about display performance. On the Thunderbolt 4 dock, dual 4K at 60 Hz was smooth and stable perfect for multitasking, video editing, or spreadsheets. However, when we connected the 8K monitor, static tasks worked fine, but 8K video playback and editing had noticeable stutter. Not unusable, but not ideal for professionals pushing high-resolution media. On the Thunderbolt 5 dock, editing high bitrate 8K footage was seamless. Charging is another critical factor. The Thunderbolt 4 dock delivered 90 watts of power. During heavy rendering while running dual 4K displays, the laptop stayed charged but hovered around 98 to 99% instead of climbing to a full 100%. This won't bother casual users, but it could be noticeable for power-hungry laptops. The Thunderbolt 5 dock delivered a full 140 watts. Even under extreme load, dual 8K displays, multiple SSD transfers, Ethernet, and USB accessories, the laptop held at a consistent 100%. For high-performance machines, this is a big win. Both docks have the essentials. Multiple USB-A and USB-C ports, HDMI, DisplayPort, Ethernet, and card readers. On the Thunderbolt 4 dock, peripherals worked fine. But when we maxed out storage and display connections, there was noticeable bandwidth sharing. Webcam quality dropped slightly during simultaneous transfers. On the Thunderbolt 5 dock, everything ran smoothly. Multiple drives, webcam, external audio gear, and even a capture card, all handled at full speed without interruptions. This shows how Thunderbolt 5 isn't just about faster speeds, it's about handling multiple demanding devices at the same time. So how do these differences feel day to day? For everyday users, emails, browsing, Zoom calls, maybe some light editing, the Thunderbolt 4 dock is still more than enough. It's stable, 
affordable, and capable of handling most tasks without issues. But once you step into professional workloads, Thunderbolt 5 really shines. If you're a video editor working with 8K RAW files, a 3D artist with massive renders, or a gamer streaming high-res content while recording, Thunderbolt 5 eliminates bottlenecks. No lag when multitasking, no waiting for file transfers, no frame drops when driving multiple displays. It's about keeping your workflow smooth. Here's where the debate gets interesting. The Thunderbolt 4 dock is much more affordable. For professionals who just need dual 4K and decent speeds, it's the better value. You get reliable performance at nearly half the price. The Thunderbolt 5 dock is expensive, sometimes double the cost. But for high-end creators and power users, the time saved and performance gained easily justify the investment. Think about it. If Thunderbolt 5 saves you 10 minutes per file transfer every day, that adds up quickly. Both docks are well-built with sturdy aluminum designs. The Thunderbolt 4 dock is slightly more compact, making it great for minimal desk setups. The Thunderbolt 5 dock is bulkier, but that's because it packs in more ports and better cooling. Neither feels cheap, and both blend nicely into professional setups. One important note, Thunderbolt 5 docks are backward compatible. That means you can use a Thunderbolt 5 dock with Thunderbolt 4 or USB 4 laptops. So even if you don't have a Thunderbolt 5 laptop yet, investing in a Thunderbolt 5 dock now means you're future-proofed. So, should you upgrade? If you're a casual user, student, or even a light content creator, a Thunderbolt 4 docking station like the Tobin 1 UDS-033 is more than enough. It's reliable, affordable, and covers 90% of use cases. But if you're a professional pushing your laptop to the max, handling 8K footage, juggling multiple displays, or running lots of high-speed devices, the Thunderbolt 5 docking station like the Anchor Prime TB5 is the clear choice. It's faster, stronger, and future ready. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this breakdown of Thunderbolt 4 versus Thunderbolt 5 docking stations, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and let us know in the comments which dock you're using or planning to buy. We've dropped links to both docks in the description. Until next time, keep your workflow fast and future proof.